Hey everybody, Nick here with Baldwin's Bowtie Garage, uh, back with another video on how to test your charging system. For those of you that are wondering, is it my battery or is it my alternator? I'm sure you've uh, probably been looking at battery videos and possibly alternator videos. Well, this one should get you to the facts pretty quick here. The first thing we're going to do is get a DVOM or multimeter. Uh, we're going to set it to volts DC and then we're going to hook up our test leads here to positive and negative at the battery. Uh, so we're going to set a positive test lead here on positive battery terminal and negative test lead on negative battery terminal. We're going to hop in the truck. We're going to start the truck. Then we're going to turn on our high beams and we're going to turn on our blower motor on high. That should be the best, uh, the best amp draw we can get. And we're going to go ahead and watch what kind of voltage the alternator is uh, putting out to our battery. On most cars, I like to rev it up uh, to about 2,500 RPM when I do this test. That's going to make sure that uh, if you have an ECM controlled alternator that it flips it on. Uh, so we'll try right here. Here we go. Turning on the blower motor. Put it on defrost. Headlights are on, make sure the high beams are on. We'll come back to the DVOM and check it out. Uh, looks like it's up around high, or sorry, mid 14s here. I'm guessing when the, I put the defrost on, when the AC compressor kicks on, it'll probably drop down a little bit. Uh, what I wanna see here is I wanna see this thing, make sure that it's charging the battery over battery voltage here. So 14.3 looks good to me. I'm going to say this one passes the test with this much current draw on it. Well, everybody, it looks like the truck uh, passed the test there. The reason I call it a charging system test is because it does look at kind of the whole charging system and how much voltage is getting to your battery itself. Um, if you don't pass that test, that does not mean that it's your alternator that's bad. It could mean that uh, the fusible link or the alternator power wire is bad. Uh, there's another spot that we're going to want to test if we don't get 12 volts uh, to our battery. So I'll bring you around right now. We can test that as well. We're going to go ahead and set our DVOM over here to voltage. And then we're going to look for the power wire on the back side of the alternator here. I'm going to see that right here. I'm going to bring positive terminal from my DVOM to the alternator stud itself. Hopefully that boot doesn't push him off of there. And then I'm going to find a ground. General Motors has provided us one right here, a little close to the belt. I like to kind of scratch that on there and make sure I get a good ground. I got 12.5. And when we start it up, let's see, can we see that on the screen? We'll give you a turn here. Make sure you keep your wires out of the path of the belt when you do this. Uh, when I start it up, we should see our 14.5 uh, right there at the alternator as well. Again, this is the test that we're going to do to test if our alternator power wire to the battery is good or not. In our case, we know it was on the battery uh, because we had 14.5 over there, but for those of you who are wondering, uh, is it my alternator? Is it the power wire or the fusible link? Uh, here we go. This is our test. We're going to again make sure we turn on headlights and blower motor when we do this. And high beams. We'll come out here and check. Uh, looks like I got 14.7 at the alternator. So I do have some voltage drop across that wire. Uh, it's kind of to be expected. Uh, nothing that I'm too concerned about. Well, as you can see, I had a little bit of voltage drop across my alternator uh, power wire to the battery there. Nothing that I was too concerned with. Um, if you don't have power coming out of the alternator, well then, then you're going to need to test if it's uh, being told to turn on. Uh, you're going to need to trace that wire back to, on a modern car, the ECM. On uh, an older car, you might be looking at the external voltage regulator, stuff like that. Uh, a little more troubleshooting that we're going to get into in this video. Hopefully that helps you. 
Um, thanks for checking out Baldwin's Bowtie Garage. Uh, you can see I got the shirts on, I got the hat on. Uh, we've been listing them on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Facebook Marketplace is where I've been selling it so far. Um, if any of you have questions, comments, concerns, likes, uh, make sure to drop them in the video below. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notifications button. Uh, we're closing in on a thousand subscribers here. Uh, I'm totally enjoying this little journey we're on together. I appreciate all of you. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again soon. Bye.